Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, well, let's talk about 32 and 64 bits. What's all of that? And why is Windows 11 different than Windows um, 10 in that respect? And what does it mean actually for the future of apps and of programs that you will be using? in your computer. So Windows 11 was announced and it was announced with one big change that it will be 64 bits only operating system. So a lot of people got, well, wow, okay, so my 32 bit apps won't work, my um, computer is incompatible, it won't work. First of all, most big major operating system have moved on to 64 bits now, which means that the hardware requirements, of course, means you need a CPU that can run 64 bit um, operating systems. Now, most modern, pretty much all the modern CPUs do. It's really the older technology that does not. So all of those that are in Windows 10 32 bits, you won't be able to move on to Windows 11 uh, if you cannot run 64 bits versions of Windows. As for the apps, it doesn't mean your apps won't work because when you are on a 64 bit operating system, you are still capable of running 32 bit apps within the system. It's still compatible. It's what's asked here is really that the system itself, Windows itself, will only be 64 bits. So Windows itself will be the operating system that will require that your CPU is capable of doing that. So it's a new step in Windows, finally leaving behind 32 bits. Uh, but like I said, all 32 bits, um, you know, most 32 bit software still work within a 64 bit OS. And actually the example is that a lot of us are actually running 64 bits windows rather than 32 bits everything still works even the 32 bit legacy stuff that's why when you go to your uh, folders when you go to your pc and you go to the c drive one of the things that you'll notice is that there's program files x86 and there's program files that's because program files x86 is the one that has the 32-bit apps running on your PC, where Program Files is the one that has the 64-bit versions of the apps that you're running on your PC. So that's why they separated the two program files. That tells you that 32-bit apps still work. So it's not a problem. Most of your software is still going to work, even if it's a 64-bit OS. And actually, like I just said, the majority of, of the majority of all of you are actually on 64-bit windows anyways so that is as simple as that the reason why we would uh, make an os 64-bit only well first of all time to re remove all the very old legacy hardware that now is really getting too old to run a modern operating system uh, even though yes windows 10 runs on a lot of the 32-bit machines and it runs well on many of them the um, other thing is that it's it's still a little controversial. Not everybody agrees on that, but 64-bit operating systems usually are more secure than 32-bit systems. Uh, and of course, 64 bits means you can ad address a lot more stuff. For example, a 32-bit Windows is stuck uh, with, I believe, four gigabytes of RAM maximum that it can read where you go to a 64-bit OS that has, you know, you can have 64 gigabytes of RAM if you want. It's going to see it all. There are limits of amount of memory, of disk space, of all sorts of things that can be done uh, and the size of apps that can be used when you're on 32 and 64 bits. So all of that is the reason behind also we move forward to a 64-bit OS. But don't worry most apps still continue to work without any problems. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.